So here they are. These are the Saucony oh, Ride 10 GTX. So I decided I'd go with these because uh, number one, there's Gore-Tex inside or outside and that's something that I really wanted to have. Uh, I wanted something to be a little bit more winterized because my feet have been getting a little bit cold in Pegasus 34. Um, granted that's been in like the sub literalist sub-zero weather, not including wind chill. I don't count wind chill. Um, so this has Gore-Tex on the outside. Hopefully that keeps my feet a little bit warmer. Um, and gives me a little bit more protection from the elements. The other thing that was that I was comparing this to in terms of should I get this or should I get something else? The other main contender was the Canvara 8 Run Shield, and um, I'm leaning towards the Canvara 8. I'll probably get a pair of those or whenever the Canvara 9s come out uh, once we hit some warmer weather. But um, it didn't see, like run shield they said it was like good against wet conditions and i really want a winter running shoe so i thought i'd go with these i think they look pretty good they look better in person than they look online so i kind of like these my biggest concern with these is that the canvaras i think probably match up toe to toe so to speak um with the zoom pegasus a little bit better in terms of being a neutral road running shoe that's meant to go fast so not super cushioned now the reason why that gave me a little bit of pause is because when i hear the word cushioning in terms of running shoes and kind of like uh, marketing speak i feel like that's like code for shoes for old people so i didn't really want to get like an old guy shoe or have a shoe that looked like it was an orthopedic shoe like when i look at it on this side it's not that pretty of a shoe um, I do like the bottom and I like the kind of like the color contrast that's here. The Canvara 8's, the color contrast, it's like red and yellow, like McDonald's colors. So um, I don't really like the Run Shield design. It kind of looks like someone barfed on your shoes. I got the same size that I normally get in the Pegasus 34. Hopefully that translates well and um, the sizes at least run, not maybe not true, but at least consistent across brands. But um, that's about all I have time for right now because I got to finish packing, pick up the girls from school and daycare, and then we're going to hit the road and head out to Lake Geneva. Um, but the next time you see me, at least with shoes, I'll be going for a run and these guys. is 7.08 in the morning. One degree. I am in Lake Geneva. Let's go for a run. Sun's about to rise. Ice is frozen. I got new shoes on. Perfect. There's guys out there on the ice. They're ice fishing, presumably, or just on the ice hanging out. So I'm about a mile into the run. It's absolutely beautiful out here. I'm enjoying the shoes. I feel great. My feet are as warm as feet can be in one degree weather. And they're comfortable, feeling good. The biggest difference I think is that this shoe seems much roomier comparing size nine and Saucony's versus the size nine in the Nikes. The other big difference is that the Zoom Pegasus has a 10 millimeter drop 
from heel to toe. But this has a four millimeter drop. I haven't been running in these literally long enough to really tell if that makes a huge difference. And I'm on terrain that's different than the paved trail that I normally run on. So can't really comment yet, but I can feel like, it feels like I'm slapping the ground a lot more. So I feel like my foot is hitting differently. And hopefully that doesn't lead to any sort of transitional injuries or uh, aches and pains. All right, just got back from the run. Everything kind of died. It was so cold out there. I had a, a layer of ice on my eyelashes. Um, but overall, a beautiful place to run. I had a great run. Uh, at the three and a half, well, some user error on the watch. Uh, it ended up being an eight and a half mile run. <laughs> at the midway point, I felt like I could keep going, but I kept in my mind that it is only one degree Fahrenheit outside. And so um, I, went, I just did turn around. And by the time I got back, I was getting starting to get a little cold. So. I think I made the right, right, right choice there. These shoes felt great, uh, feet feel great now. Um, so I don't think there's gonna be any kind of like breaking in period for me. I feel like I can go out on these and run right away. So that feels really good. Um, most of the terrain was just really, really cold. Nothing too icy, so um, can't really comment too much on grip. Although some of it was, most of it wasn't paved. So it was trail, grass, gravel, uh, stone, rocks, that kind of thing. Uh, felt very sure-footed sure -footed the entire time. Um, but yeah, I really like these shoes. Um, when I'm just wearing them, I don't feel like they're super cushioned, like I get that feeling when I'm wearing the Zoom Pegasus. Uh, but once you know I'm out there running, uh, feels great. I do notice the difference in the drop. This is a four millimeter drop versus a 10 millimeter drop on the Zoom Pegasus. Um, whether that makes a huge difference to me overall, I'm not sure. I feel it, but I don't know if it makes a difference. The one thing that I did notice, and I mentioned it on the run, is that I feel like my feet are like slapping the ground a little bit. And I don't know if that has to do with the heel drop or not, um, but that's kind of what I'm feeling. Um, I'm not feeling it even after an eight and a half mile run today. I'm not feeling it like in my knees or in my feet or anything like that or shins. So I'm not sure that that makes a difference or if that's just mental or maybe just running on a different kind of terrain than I'm used to. But um, I like these. These are great. They kept my feet as warm as feet can be in one degree Fahrenheit for running. And uh, I will definitely be, yes. Um, we're going to sit at the high table. That sounds great. I'll join you in just a second, okay? Okay. Um, remember, we're still at the hotel. Uh, kind of a, a weekend getaway for us. But anyway. I really like these shoes. Uh, I think I'm gonna enjoy running in these, but because I've never run in sock in these before, and uh, this is my first time in this particular model, the Glide Ride, the Ride 10, um, I'll probably have to do a follow-up after like 50 miles or so, which will, so like in a week. So hit the subscribe button, um, and if you wanna make sure you get that kind of 50 mile update, hit the notification bell too, so that way uh, you'll know as soon as that video hits. Um, that it's available for you to watch. And if you have any questions about this shoe, leave them in the comments and I'd love to talk to you down there. Yo, what's going on?